Welcome back. So today, Chris and I are on our little weekly lunch date and we stopped off at this place called Island Green Mart. I saw something about it on TikTok and Instagram, so I wanted to check it out. You know me, I love grocery stores. So I kind of wanted to check it out, see what kind of things they have. Are you excited? I'm excited to eat. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if they have any sweet eats to eat. So we're here at Island Green Mart. Let's go. So it's like a big warehouse, but it's mostly Asian groceries. There's like no one here. The tiger bomb. Hey, tiger <laughs> <laughs> Haven't seen that in a while. Ooh, look at these. Are these Thai brands, babe? Maybe you should bring your parents here. They might have fun. And this is their produce section. Wow, it's big in here. Ve what is that? Vegan shrimp? Wow. Vegan, wait, these are all vegan. Vegan foods. So this is vegan scallops and vegan diced crab. So if you're a vegan, perfect place to come to have jumbo meatballs there. Oh my goodness, look, they have vegan ham rolls. Oh, and they have the lotus leaf buns. I love these. Green onion rolls, Ooh, that looks good. And of course they got the dumplings here. My first time here and I'm having a lot of fun so far. So see what else they have. Rice cakes, frozen cooked sweet glutinous rice cakes. Ooh, a mango ice bar. We got tapioca balls here. We have shabbats. The ones you get at Whole Foods are so tiny. They look like little garlic bulbs. They're like this size. But look, they have really big ones here. And they're two for $5. I think we're gonna pick up some of these today. So I wanted to try and make some, um, some scallion oil. Two for four bucks. That's not bad. We are the only ones in here right now. Oh, they even got pickled daikon here. Turmeric, too. Whole huge bag of garlic. Oh, oh, look, they have calamansi. It's so cute. They're so tiny. The lime is 50 cents each. That's a good price because at Whole Foods this morning, it was like a $1.49 or almost $2 a lime. My son loves lime or lemon on his chicken. Oh, they got lots of brands of jasmine rice here. Nice. They got your Vietnamese rice noodles and they are $2.99 each or three for $6.50. Oh, okay, so maybe we should pick up a few of these while we're here. Wow, oh, this is a big bag. Look at this. This is a five pound bag of noodles. We got tons of hot pot sauces here. Spicy hot pot soup base. What is this? I mean, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but these apples are monstrous. It's like as big as my, I can, big as my hand. Okay, I don't know what a lucky apple is, but if anybody in the comments can tell me, let me know so I can learn more about this. But this is a huge apple and it smells really good too. Ah, look at this one. This one's even bigger. Okay, I was not expect to come here today and I just went to the grocery store to buy papaya and it's a dollar nine a pound here and i paid like i think two dollars something a pound at the store oh my goodness dang it bitter melon my favorite but i like it when somebody else prepares it <laughs> wow long beans these are definitely long as big as my hand <laughs> This is like a dessert packet. They have pandan puto mix. Ooh, that looks good. Even that one looks really good too. They have, ooh, they have a ube flavored sweetened condensed creamer. That sounds amazing. Corn in coconut milk dessert. Mung bean in coconut milk dessert. That looks really good. A purple yam porridge and a chocolate porridge. Wow, I've never seen like instant kind ramen or desserts like this. This is kind of cool. What are you looking at? Like a little Herbal thing. jelly. What yeah. is that? You never tried the black jelly? No. Oh. I've never tried that. It's good. <laughs> it's a dessert, but it says herbal. Does that mean it's medicinal? No, it's just the black jelly you used to eat back when I was in Chinatown. <laughs> oh, you want to try it? Yeah. Okay, we'll pick one up. Look, did you know that condensed milk came in a squeeze bottle? That's kind of cool. Oh my god, there's so many different types of instant noodle packs here. 
kind of want to just try them all. What is this? Wool wool fermented rice. I've stumbled into the sweets section. My favorite section. Oh, this has all the ingredients for the desserts. We got the jellies and the lotus seeds and the beans. They have Thai custard mixed pandan flavor. Oh, this looks so good. Doesn't that look beautiful? Pandan flavor, durian essence. Oh my goodness. I wish I knew how to make these desserts and I would buy all the things and make it myself, but I had to go and buy it <laughs> instead. Oh, my grandma used to buy this all the time during New Year's to make her stuff. Oh, I miss her. Got medium sweet soy sauce here. I didn't know there was a difference until just recently. They had like different types of soy sauce. Oh wow, that is a lot of chili paste. $16 though. Mm, Macapuno strings. I love Macapuno ice cream. It's one of my favorite ice cream. This is the brand I normally get because that's what Chris's dad uses, but I'm not sure about if these taste any different. They even have a vegetarian pineapple made fish sauce. I'm going to pick one up just out of pure curiosity. Ube spread. I wonder if you can just put this on bread. I think they're still getting product in there that new. So a lot of the shelves are kind of half filled. So I'm assuming once this place gets rolling, this there will have a lot more stuff here. But as it is, they kind of have a lot already from what I can see. They're still setting up their cases here. It's not even running yet. Got some rice paper here. Oh, those are really big ones. I mean, look at this guy. It's hard to tell on camera, but this is like as big as a basketball. It is huge. Connor was there on this place a couple days ago because I just did a really big grocery run. And I don't really need anything, but all this stuff looks so fun. I want to try it all. A lot of pickled everything. Ooh, pickled garlic. I didn't know that's how they make it. This is why I love coming to Asian grocery stores because you find so many different things that you don't find in a regular grocery store. I mean, it must be common for most other people. For me, this is fun. What did you find? It's like dried pork. This Dr goes good in juk. Really? Rice gruel, yeah. It's That's fun. just dried pork? That's all that is? Sweet, slightly sweet, salty and dried pork. Interesting. I used to eat it in Thailand or back when I was a kid. Now we're in our favorite section here, the snack section. We got a whole aisle of snacks. Those look yummy. Tamarind flavor candy. Sesame soft candy. Oh my goodness, tons of wafers. Kids would go nuts here. We got fish crackers, chocolate filled pillows. Oh my God, I remember these crackers. And chips. Lobster crackers. Snacks. Oh, and they're in the shape of little cuttlefish. Kind of look like something else, but they're technically cuttlefish. They're shaped like crabs. That's so cute. Kids' favorite. Oh, yeah. They got pork rinds here. I can't eat pork rinds, but you can. <laughs> it kind of looks like they're going to have like a fresh seafood and meat section soon, but this area looks empty still yet. Yeah, see right here? Cut fresh every day. They're not ready yet. They're still under construction, but it's coming. Okay, so here in the back here, they have their frozen seafood and meat section. As you can see, there's still a lot of setting up things to do. Look at the little crabs in there. Snails here, top shell. White sea cucumber. And in here, they have all their frozen fish. They have mudfish, tilapia. Ready to go, just gotta defrost it. And they even have frog legs. Wow. Too bad. We're not gonna go right home because otherwise I would pick up some of these. Curry fish ball. Oh. Durian white coffee. I think we're gonna have to try this. And as you can see, we found more than a few things to bring home. And when we went there, they were having a soft opening promotion. Where if you spend $25, you get a free bottle of fish sauce. And if you follow them on Facebook, a free container of coconut candy. Definitely some good sweet eats. 
Now we're on our way to another sweet stop in this area because I'm ashamed I've never been to this place or at least to their location. I've seen their things in store, but I've never actually been to the place and I've lived here all my life. So embarrassing. But anyway, let's do this. So we made it to the next stop, which is the Shoto Candy Store. I have never been here before. It's my first time. I'm hoping they have some really cool mochi, a different types of mochi than the one they have in the store. I love mochi as well, so this should be really fun. So let's do this. like little office because their main uh, source of business is manufacturing for the grocery stores. So we've had Nishodo Mochi before, but this is their main store. So we picked up their variety pack, which has pretty much one of everything except a couple of the larger mochis. Oh, that wind is strong today. Oh my God, it's rocking the car. <laughs> yeah, so we picked up their little variety pack with the chichidango and all the different flavors. So we're gonna just try a couple because there's kind of a lot here. Oh, and we also picked up a few of their manju to try as well. I think this just has the uncle. It doesn't have anything fancy inside, but this is their manju. We're gonna try the melona flavor. So this is the melona. I'm gonna give it a try. Mmm. That is really good. Mm -hmm. It tastes just like a melona bar. It has like a ang or like a bean paste inside, but it tastes like melona. Here, give it a try. I think I would buy more of those. Oh, wow. It's good, right? That definitely tastes like melona. Yeah, they probably like just melted melona in, <laughs> into the bean paste. That one's a really good flavor. I do highly recommend that one. So good. And the next flavor we're going to try is the lily koi. This is the lily koi, but it, ha it comes in like a purple mochi. And the mochi is so soft, so fresh. You can tell they just made this today. So we're gonna try this, okay? This is the Lily Koi. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. That is so good. If you didn't know, I love Lily Koi. That has a very strong Lily Koi flavor, but it really balances out the sweetness of the mochi with the tartness of the Lily Koi. Mm, I recommend that one too. I actually recommend that one over the Melona. Oh yeah? That one is really good. Yeah? yeah it tastes like, Wait. It's like, like one of those lily coin drinks. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. guess so, yeah. It's very good. It's very good. I like that one. Very so good. yummy. You want to try one more? Eat that last one. Okay. He's giving me the last bite. In mm. the comments, put down, let the man eat. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, these are just the regular chichidango flavors, which is just the mochi by itself. This has the kinako or the soybean powder on the outside of these. But these, this is green tea, this little spotty one. But I don't know what the other ones are. So do you want to randomly pick one and just try it? Try to guess. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, and I'll pick one too. All right. Um, you know what? Let's just stick with this side. I'll pick this white, clean white one. Itadakimasu! Hmm. Hmm. What's your first? It kind of tastes flowery, like a flower. Yeah. Or soap. What's the inside? It's just sweet. I don't know really? what it is. Is that plain? It it looks like it's a plain white one. Mm. Mine's a coconut. Yours is a coconut? Yeah. Oh, okay, we're gonna try switch now. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can figure out what that is. That one's good. Doesn't it taste flowery though? I'm trying to remember the Chinese thing. <laughs> it's that thing that, that white thing with the black seed in the middle. That you have oh, lychee. Lychee, yeah. Okay. Is that what that lychee? is? Or yeah. longan or something? Longan. Longan? I think it's longan. Oh, okay. That's what that is. I couldn't figure it out. Cause it doesn't taste tart like a lychee does. So I, I didn't get that. It tastes, I just taste the sweetness of it more than anything. But this one's really good. The coconut. It's that peachy colored one. Mm -hmm. Recommend this one too. Yeah, it's long time. Mm -hmm. mm, the mochi is so soft and tender. You just want to keep eating it and mm -hmm. eating it and eating it. We're trying to save some room for lunch. So we're going to oh, yeah, hold off true. on eating. Well, let's try one more thing. Let's try the manju. And I don't think there's any special flavors in there. I think it's just uncle. Okay. All three of them? Mm-hmm. 
So I don't know which is which. I only asked for one of each, but she gave me an extra one. So, okay, so we got one of each one. Pink. Okay. This has the yellow bean inside. It's very good though. Very sugary and dense compared to the mochi, obviously. Mm, I think it's the same thing. Oh yeah? Is it white on the inside? Yeah. So this was Some the kind of bean. the white bean inside. Mm -hmm. But oh maybe it is white bean. They're both white beans. Just I thought it was yellow bean because of no. the, the outside. I like it. I just prefer the mochi <laughs> over the manju. It's a little dry and, and dense compared to the mochi. I'm gonna put that back in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll eat the rest later because we wanna save room for lunch. Now for our next stop, it's either gonna be one of these two restaurants, which I know Chris would rather have one over the other, and I would ha rather have one over the other. So Shall we junk in a pole for it and see who wins? Because I know which one I want, right. but I know you probably have liked the other place. Mm. Junk in pole. Oh. Oh. I win. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go to eat. But before that, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Mara, and I like to make food and travel content along with my husband, Chris, and sometimes you'll see my three little Zillas. We love going around to new and interesting places to eat and play within our community. We also love to travel, so we would love to do more travel content in the future. We started this channel as a way to help spread the word about our favorite local spots, as well as support our local economy. If you like our content, please hit the like button so we know to keep making more like it. And also, we'd love it if you consider subscribing so you can join the family and stay up to date with our latest destinations for sweet eats. We're here at Yohei Sushi. I wanted to come here because my mom was telling me about this place and apparently they bring all their ingredients in from Japan. So it's a pretty authentic kind of place. So let's go check it out. Set menu. You choose one main dish. All set meals come with miso soup, rice, Japanese pickles, cold soba noodles, and a seasonal side dish. They even have a sashimi teishoku, sashimi or maguro tataki teishoku. Ooh, they have a hamachi tataki. Oh, wow. What shall we get? The ambiance of the restaurant was so relaxing and pleasant, and then all of a sudden. <laughs> Power just went out for some reason at Yohei. So I don't know if they're gonna kick us out or if they're gonna continue to make her lunch. We'll see how long this, this stays out for. Okay, don't mind, it's really dark in here, but our lunch just came, so here it is. So I got the the largest set, and it's really cute because it has these little bite-sized pieces of food. Like, this is the cutest little fish. Oh my god, it looks like meant for a baby. And there's like, I think that's a croquette and some tofu and egg omelette. They're like really bite-sized pieces. It's really cute. And we got one agedashi, and we got some sushi here, and of course a little bit of noodles and miso soup. Everything is truly mini bite sized adorable. What did you get? You got the tempura box? Tempura. It's got two shrimp. It's got a, a I don't know what this is. I think oh, it's a carrot, carrot, vegetable, string beans, and a uh, eggplant. Your favorite is tempura anyway. Oh, I love tempura. So this is what I love about Japanese food. All the little mini plates of little tasting things. Because I don't like to eat a lot of one thing, but I love to taste a lot of different things. So this is the perfect meal set for me. We're going to eat now. And hopefully the power goes on so we can pay our bill. You whip up my appetite. Don't leave me in. So good. It's the cutest little ice cream cup. Oh my goodness. The little tiny spoon. I love it. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> That was crazy. Just so you know, this week in Hawaii, apparently there's like super strong winds going on. It's like 30 to 50 mile an hour gusts. So while we were eating in there, apparently two telephone poles got knocked over. Not sure if it was by car or by wind, but most likely the wind. So all the power is out in this shopping mall here and right next to Dillingham. Now that we've had our lunch, we're gonna go off and find some dessert. Cause you know, we can't end our day without something sweet, right? 
Technically, you had ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, yes. But it was a little tiny one. It was like a little, little dot. A little dot. Oh. Yeah, it was like a mouthful. That was it. <laughs> Off to the next place. Let's, Let's do it. Go. Surprise, surprise. We're here at Alamora. <laughs> We're going to get something sweet. <laughs> sweeter there. <laughs> mm. Like whatever I had in the first place was not sweet at all. Ice, yeah. But um, whatever was near that taro paste, and the taro paste is a little sweeter. Mm. It's actually really good though. It just took me by surprise because the first bite was so mild. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. If there's a place that makes Thai desserts with the jackfruit and the jellies that that you know of on Oahu, let us know in the comments below so we can go and check it out because it's been looking for a place like that but we just can't seem to find it. The closest we've, I think, gotten is Holo Holo from Magnolia, mm -hmm. but that's not exactly the kind of dessert he was looking for. It's close, just not quite. Yeah, we've done like Japanese snow, what is that snow ice? Mm -hmm. And then we've done the Korean bingsu, bingsu, mm -hmm. and then you know Filipino, and now it's Chinese. Right. Now we need some Thai. <laughs> now we need some Thai. <laughs> Let us know if you know of a place on Oahu so we can scratch that itch of his dessert cravings. <sighs> I am so full. I think we ate enough for today. Thanks so much for joining us on our lunch date. Almost time to pick up the kids, and we'll see you on the next one. I don't know. <laughs> you want to pick up any more mochi? I kind of want another like, lily point one. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, next stop, next stop. <laughs>